welcome home. Today's energy has been really interesting and I'm excited to dive into the messages coming through. All right, let's begin today's reading with the Energy Oracle deck, which is resonating strongly with our session today. The card that's come through is the Great Severing, appearing in the reversed position. Immediately, I'm sensing a weight, this dense, almost chaotic energy that might have you feeling off balance lately. What I'm hearing here is soulful protector. For those of you drawn to this reading, you embody the essence of a soulful protector in this lifetime. Just as a guardian steps onto a path of challenge, you too step forward into the world with courage. But as you navigate through it, you may find yourself absorbing energies and vibrations from the collective consciousness or those around you still rooted in fear. And that word, fear, is really prominent here. It feels like an underlying force in the energy surrounding you, something your soul is keenly aware of and actively working to transform. And also, for some reason, this reading feels like one of those uniquely tuned in messages. I just received a profound download and it feels very specific almost as if it's directed toward a small group of divine feminines who have found their way here. So, if you felt drawn to this video by the title, the thumbnail, or perhaps it simply appeared in your path, though we know nothing in the universe is truly random, trust that there's a reason you felt this. I'm sensing that the purpose of this reading is to bring you a sense of clarity, a gentle but undeniable confirmation of the divine nudge you've already been feeling. There's a powerful energy guiding you, and it's been present for a while now. I'm getting a vision of a male figure who may have transitioned, someone with a protective presence possibly a grandfather or great-grandfather, who's been reaching out. I know this might resonate very specifically for some of you, so only take it if it aligns with what you've been sensing. But even if it doesn't, know that there are many spiritual forces around you, past loved ones and guides alike assisting you on your journey and gently steering you in this direction. Now, I'm hearing that this direction holds something that both excites and scares you, a path that, when you even begin to talk about it, your energy visibly shifts. I can see your aura lighting up, your eyes sparkling with passion. It's something that lights you up deeply even though it might also bring up some fear. I'm getting that you felt this pull for some time, like a whisper that turns into a steady push. And yet, just as you begin to move toward it, the weight of fear, or perhaps even the voices of others' opinions, holds you back. For some of you, this hesitation may be tied to criticism or doubt from others that arises just as you're starting to lean into this calling. I'm going to go as deeply as I can into these energies and pull forward the details for you to bring as much clarity as possible. Now, the message that came through so powerfully, the reason I felt compelled to press record, is that you've been holding back on a dream, keeping it on pause for what feels like a long time. But now, the timing is right. You've been feeling that divine nudge, 
urging you toward real, actionable steps in this direction. It's as though the spiritual energies surrounding and supporting you are aligning to guide you back toward your highest timeline, nudging you to stay attuned to the most elevated vision of your life. With the Door to Romance card reversed, I'm sensing some frustration around a love connection. You might feel that things aren't moving forward or that the purpose of a particular connection remains unclear whether to keep nurturing it or perhaps to release it. There's a sense of stagnation and it could even be causing you to question other relationships in your life, whether romantic or platonic. You may feel as though true, meaningful connections have been challenging to manifest, leaving you feeling somewhat disconnected from the people around you. Ironically, this energy of blockage in love and intimate relationships might be part of what's pushing you towards fulfilling this long-held dream. The spiritual forces around you may be using this period of frustration to direct your focus inward guiding you toward a path that ultimately aligns you with the right connections and energies at the perfect time. I'm sensing your guide is saying there's a higher reason for this, because you came here with a purpose, and you've been feeling that divine nudge guiding you in that direction. Yet, I can feel this tension this frustration with relationships at this time, as your ego pulls you back in fear each time you begin moving toward this path. It's a unique message, but it's almost as though your guides are intentionally placing a gentle hold on certain areas, like love or your social life, because this season is meant to be about pursuing a specific dream. You're being called onto a deeply personal journey, one that carries a powerful spiritual purpose, not only for you, but also for the collective. I'm hearing that your path is destined to look different from the conventional blueprint others around you may be following, and this might be stirring up some confusion for the ego. It's natural to look around and notice how certain milestones in the 3D world are playing out differently for you compared to others. The ego loves to compare, and yet your soul knows there's something extraordinary unfolding here. I have to say, throughout this entire reading, I've felt goosebumps because there's such a powerful, profound, energy surrounding you right now. You might be noticing signs too, signals from the universe that it's time to take real steps toward this dream or even a particular goal like a school or creative path. This is something that feels like it's been with you for a long time, something that's been set aside almost as if it were put on the back burner. There may have been circumstances that held you back, or a spiritual lesson you needed to complete first, something internal that required your focus. I'm getting a strong sense that everything up until now has been preparing you for this exact moment, setting the stage for you to finally take meaningful steps toward this dream that has always lived in your heart. and especially the experiences you've had spiritually, personally, and even in that frustrating romantic situation have been working to activate your throat chakra. This is powerful as it suggests that this dream you're being guided toward now may involve expressing yourself using this newfound clarity and strength in your voice. 
Your guides also want you to understand that if this is a dream you've attempted to pursue in the past, there's a reason why things may not have worked out before. You may have felt as though you failed, like it just wasn't coming together. It could be something creative, artistic, musical, a writing project, or even a business idea, anything close to your heart. The ego may have whispered that it was a failure, but the truth is, it wasn't the right time. The path is opening now because you are ready. Your guides are coming through strongly to say that things weren't aligned in the past as they are now. Most importantly, you needed to undergo this profound throat chakra activation a shift that has opened you energetically and set you up to make these powerful quantum leaps toward this dream or goal. They want you to understand that because of the ways you've been activated in recent months or even years, any past attempts to pursue this dream were simply groundwork. Now, Everything feels different because you are different. Your energy has transformed and the timing is finally aligned for you. There are distinct spiritual seasons in life and I sense you've been moving through a long winter. This was a period where your dreams and perhaps certain gifts were kept beneath the surface hidden like seeds beneath the snow. But as the ground has begun to thaw through your inner healing, the opening of your heart and the powerful activation of your voice, this seed is now ready to emerge. It's reaching upward, breaking through the earth, prepared to grow and thrive in a way it never could have before. And synchronistically, we have the cornucopia card upright from the energy oracle deck. This card is such a powerful confirmation. You're ready to bloom into a phase of radical growth that others will witness, and it's bringing waves of abundance your way. Whatever this endeavor involving your voice and expression is, whether you're a speaker, writer, musician, creator, or business owner, it holds the energy of both success and deep personal fulfillment. I keep hearing, coming full circle. This fulfillment is profound because it's tied to a seed you've carried within, almost like something kept in your back pocket a dream you've held close for a long time. For some of you, this may even be a childhood dream that's now surfacing. I'm seeing the number 136, which might resonate for someone here. With the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel card reversed, I can feel that this journey has been about a deep inner activation of your voice a process that required you to go through some intense experiences, times when you felt as though you didn't have a voice or that it had somehow been silenced. There may have even been moments when you thought you were letting go of this dream altogether. But the truth is, you were never giving up. You were surrendering to the transformative activation that needed to happen within. This was all a part of the preparation, getting you ready to step forward and take those action steps. You're now being divinely guided to take toward this dream. I'm really feeling that there's an energy oracle card that wants to speak to you here. Sunflowers may hold symbolic meaning for someone listening. The card we have is the magician and the mirror. Aligning will and intention. 
I sense that this dream you're holding may be something you've tried to release or minimize. It's as though you've made deals with yourself, thinking, I can keep this as a hobby while I work a more stable job. There are layers of limiting beliefs here, perhaps originating from people around you in childhood, as this dream does feel like it may have roots there. It's almost as though you were told growing up that you could never find success or abundance by pursuing this dream. Yet, the universe is now nudging you forward, showing you that this path holds so much more for you. Much of this inner work has been about unraveling those deeply rooted limiting beliefs, guiding you to step into your full power and potential. You didn't come here to fit in. You came to be a beacon and a trailblazer. With the Healer of the Ages card appearing in reverse, I often take this as a sign of deep spiritual connections or soul paths, much like the energy of a twin flame journey. Now, while this may not resonate for everyone, for some, I'm sensing that alongside this dream or purpose, there's been a journey with a twin flame. You may have experienced separation or disconnection from your twin flame, or even found yourself questioning the label altogether, though on a soul level, it remains a core part of your being. For some of you, this twin flame connection may have been the catalyst that awakened you, that opened you up spiritually. It might even be what triggered the powerful activation of your voice. The twin flame journey can be complex, and if this resonates, you may feel that while this divine masculine counterpart spiritually awakened you, aligning you with this path and pushing you toward this unfolding of yourself in the physical world, they may also be presenting certain obstacles. Their own energetic wounding or healing journey may mean they are not fully aligned in the 3D to support your continued growth on this path. For some, staying deeply connected with this divine masculine in the 3D might feel like it's pulling you back even as their presence was essential in activating this beautiful spiritual path. There's a profound paradox here, especially with the journey card upright. This connection has sparked such deep spiritual shifts within you, activating your voice and aligning you with a grand vision. And yet, right now, you may find yourself needing to step back from their physical presence in the 3D. It's as if this dream or purpose is something you're now pursuing alone, and that feeling of solitude is coming through strongly as I connect with your energy. With the hostilities card upright, I sense this may be stirring up a lot of inner conflict and resistance within you. Spirit's message here is crystal clear. Don't settle for less than you deserve just because you feel alone. This is an important lesson in this season. Don't let loneliness lead you to accept less than what truly aligned with your soul. And with the man holding a heart upright, don't allow ego-driven fears of being alone to draw you toward a masculine energy that's still operating from his ego. Trust that as you stand fully in your power, the right souls will either be drawn to you or naturally fall away. But I also know this is easier said than done. You've chosen a deeply challenging path because it's so different from the path that many around you are on, you might feel like you don't quite fit. 
This sense of not belonging can feel especially strong in family gatherings or around others who are living in a more conventional way. Your path is unique, and though it may make you feel like an outlier, trust that it's leading you towards something extraordinary. Know that you are on this path for a divine purpose, a path you are courageously forging. I'm hearing others will follow. Some of those directly around you who may still be holding on to their own fears and even projecting them onto you will begin to witness this blossoming within you. As you continue to step forward, they might eventually be drawn to similar pathways because you've become a trailblazer for this collective consciousness. The messages coming through are incredibly powerful and the energy surrounding you is so intense, layered with support and encouragement. I can see it clearly in your aura. All of these spiritual guides and perhaps even past loved ones are guiding you, urging you toward this dream. And though fears may arise from the ego, there is a profound knowing within you, a voice from your higher self saying, it's time, time to take this leap, to take these actions. I'm ready now in a way I wasn't before. To help you stay aligned with this beautiful vision, I'd recommend exploring some of the subliminals I've created on my website, soundandsoulful.com. These can be powerful tools because the fears surfacing are really artificial limiting beliefs stored in your subconscious mind. And this is key since your subconscious controls about 95% of your thoughts, energy, and life experiences. Aligning it with your dreams can open doors to profound transformation. Reprogramming the subconscious mind is like accessing a backdoor to manifestation. It's a powerful way to deeply and efficiently shift our energetic field, releasing those limiting beliefs and outdated programs, and allowing us to magnetize our dreams, goals, and desires. It aligns us with who we came here to be and what we're meant to do. On my website, you'll find a variety of subliminals, each crafted to help you connect with the vision or goal you're being guided toward, the one you're manifesting. All right, let's tune in to a few final closing messages for you. What guidance does the Divine Feminine listening to this reading need at this time? The solar plexus chakra card has come through in the reverse position, and I'm hearing, your self-confidence is the only thing holding you back. It's as if this area of your energy, like a candle flickering in the wind, is being challenged by the fears your ego generates. For those connecting with this message, a lot of these insecurities are surfacing now particularly through the solar plexus. This is your center of personal power. And recently, along with your throat chakra, where there's been such a powerful activation, your solar plexus has also been energetically stirred. This shift may have even been what gave you the strength to set boundaries or walk away from that particular masculine energy if that message resonated with you. This solar plexus area feels like the key focus for you right now. It's a space where, through daily energy work, you can nurture your self-worth and strengthen your sense of self-love. Think of this work as tending to a garden within you, allowing each affirmation and act of self-care to be like sunlight, nourishing your confidence, 
and helping it flourish. The more you focus on empowering this center, the more aligned you'll feel with your true path. I'm hearing date yourself, fall deeply and completely in love with who you are, regardless of what your romantic connections look like right now. Your energy is rare, precious, and truly valuable. Though it feels as if certain people in your past may have subtly swayed you away from this knowing. Now, you're being gently but firmly guided back to this truth, regaining the confidence to fully share your newly activated voice through the energy of your throat chakra. Because as you speak, express, and channel this voice, you're not only sharing your truth, you're also sparking an energetic activation in others. It's like a tuning fork vibrating with resonance, subtly awakening something within those who encounter your work, words, or creations. Whatever you pour this energy into, whether it's a career, a creative project, or a personal endeavor, is rippling outward with powerful, transformative energy, touching everyone who hears or witnesses what you're bringing to life. This ripple effect is more profound than you may realize. By simply being yourself, you're igniting shifts in others, guiding them back to their own inner truth. And it does feel like someone I'm channeling here may be posting something publicly or publishing something sharing music or writing or something through social media because I see people listening to or hearing whatever you are sharing and being really deeply spiritually activated by it. This feels like such an essential part of what you came here to be and do, which is why you always held the seed of the stream in your soul, even through childhood. Even through the doubts and fears others may have projected onto you. You've never been able to fully give up on this dream, and that's for a reason. It's because it is a key component of your soul's blueprint, that divine design for our lives that we each create prior to incarnating here on Earth. All right. That feels like a perfect place to wrap up this reading. Trust in the unique purpose that's always been a part of you and let this dream come to life in its own time. Remember what you're sharing, your voice, your energy has a way of touching others more deeply than you might know. Thank you for letting me bring these messages through for you today.